Hi and welcome. Today I'm going to show you about my uh, blowgun. It's a heavy grade thick aluminum tube and um, yeah, well, I modified some parts of it so it would be easier to handle. For example, this side I have wrapped in uh, lead wire or um, you could also use thin um, wire, you know, for soldering. Just wrap it around the handle, some tape, and then you have a heavy end to your blowpipe. So the hand grip where you hold it is the center of mass. Otherwise your blowgun has a tendency to tip forward because it's a long tube. This one is 1 meter 80. So it's about uh, the height of an average guy like me. Actually, I'm seven centimeters taller, but that, that to the side. Okay, so these are the darts. This one is a bamboo dart. You know, the kind of prong thingies you use to make uh, shish kebab things for the barbecue. And these I made out of garden wire, you know, the green wire used for securing fences or you could even, like I used, use the fence itself. I will show you later. An other addition I made is this. This is the quiver. It's just a few of those bamboo sticks. I taped in. Of course the first layer of tape has the sticky side out and the next layer has the sticky side in so the darts don't stick in there. If you just put this in there it just stays like this, see? Until you pull it out. So this one can house about 20 darts. Now the bamboo darts, like this one these I use for target practice. They are light, very light, and yeah, well, they have a sharp point. If it becomes blunt from use, you can just sharpen them again using a pencil sharpener. These uh, made from the garden fence have a broad head, which I forged on, and a stopping pin which prevents it from going all through your target. Now these are hunting arrows. You can use them to shoot pigeons or some people shoot squirrels but I, I don't like to eat squirrel so I only shoot what I can eat. So uh, I have shot pigeons and uh, rabbits. Those are hard but you really need a good sharp tip for a rabbit and a good stopping pin. Otherwise this one will go all the way through, the rabbit will run away, dive somewhere and it's of no good to anyone. The other mod I did on this, see this? I meet these indentations. Now the round ones, they're uh, decoration, but these V-shaped ones they serve a purpose and that is if you use your uh, blowpipe as a walking stick when you're out hunting so you don't have to carry it all the time I use it as a walking stick gripping this part and just to keep my balance and stuff and um, but if you walk through mud or dirt this entry hole becomes clogged and with these v-shaped things it's harder for the mud or dirt to stick in there and if it does you just take a prong and go like this you blow on the other side and everything comes out it becomes much harder when it's just a flat normal tube opening so this makes stuff a lot easier to clean now as you can see it's a very thick piece of tubing it's not just any type. Uh, I got this at a local hardware store. I think it costs about 
two euros and a half for this one. That's actually a two meter piece, but I cut it back somewhat because it was too long to be useful as a blowgun. Now, I'm going to show you how to make bamboo darts, which aren't very hard, and I'm going to show you to make one of these. Actually, we're going to make somewhat like this but not entirely we're gonna make some additions i'll tell you about it later okay now over to the workshop where i'm going to show you how to make these okay so while we're at my workshop now i'm going to show you how to make one of these bamboo darts very easy to pick up one of these one euro packs 200 of these barbecue type bamboo things just leave them this length leave the tip no modifications whatsoever you take some electric electrician's tape this clip length like this now this is important stick this part on this wrap it around once or twice and now just return so the sticky side is out see and you take these these are makeup cotton swabs fold it over like this in half good compress it now twist it roll it all the way around roll roll nice and tight okay hold this take your clippers now a little longer part flip it now we roll this so stick it on like that and roll around now it takes a little practice to figure out how hard to pull on the tape because you need this is the part I have sewn off of the tube to make my blowpipe obviously this isn't the first dart I made so I know I have it in my fingers kinda to, to feel the diameter of the tube so this is perfect you can just it's like airtight, but it still slides. This is perfect. So the tension on the tape makes the diameter or the caliber of your cotton at the end. So this is one finished dart. We're going to fire this one later. Just put it aside here. Now, making... So, just gonna cut here, here, and there. So now I have this piece of really sturdy um, garden fence. We're going to start by clipping off these parts. Don't need those. We're gonna clip this, but not entirely. This will be our stopper. See? The small T part. Okay. Now this clip entirely. You can leave the little bud thing on. This one over here. We're gonna get rid of in a minute so first thing we want to do is make this into a nice sharp broad head I was gonna show you how okay so now first thing we want to do flatten this out 